What do you go by? Um, I go by Winter Jones. Winter Jones. Yes. You like it? Yeah, I like it. I write pretty much everything. I like to have my hand in everything. No one's going to tell me what I should sound like. The way that I make the music connect and the lyrics and such, I usually start off by, um, it starts off with kind of like a feeling. I just I hear like a note in my head. And I'm like, what's that? And if it's something that kind of moves me or makes me afraid especially, especially if it's something that really scares me, I kind of go chasing after it. And then um, the more I kind of settle into it, it begins to reveal like what the melody is, what, what I'm trying to say with it. It's basically taking soul music and R&B music and giving it a bunch of 80s electronic beats and kind of throwing it out there into the future and seeing what happens, you know. If soul music were to reinvent itself and were to make a comeback in a major way, what would it be like? And how would we modernize it? The Runaway is based on my friend, uh, one of my best friends, Ella, and she kind of always had a bit of a problem staying true to one relationship. She always kind of wanted to run away. So the song's kind of based on that, and for every girl out there, and every guy for that matter, who wants to always kind of pick up their heels and just take off, the song's just saying, hey, chill and just see where that goes. Maybe you'll discover something new, maybe you'll like it, if you don't. Lebanese and a Syrian and uh, my family survived uh, a war the holy war back in Lebanon I was born on the day of the war I almost died at birth and um, my parents ever since coming to the States you know, they're still kind of shell-shocked like it's still crazy I grew up in a very abusive household kind of unstable household and so this song is for all those people out there who who want freedom who want to find a different way of living, of thinking. And this says that, you know, this is what America stands for. And you can be American whatever part of the world you're in. It's just a it's just a concept. It's just a way of thinking. I just finished doing my first album here in Minneapolis and as soon as we completed it we kind of showed it to a few people and they're like that's great now write another one and I became so angry I just went downstairs in his basement and I wrote another one and it was called do what they want and I and every lyric in the line with the exception of the bridge is something that somebody had said to me and it's all about changing my name changing my style changing my look changing the way I act being this being that basically anything and everything but not me so
do what they want. Dance in the dark. Yes. What's the feel on that? Uh, I was in Chicago and I was working at a bar called Roscoe's and it's a gay bar and I just saw a lot of pain in a lot of people's eyes you know just a lot of promiscuity but it's not like oh you know they're just whores just a lot of you know need for comfort a lot of I don't know just just trying to find your way through a dark moment and trying to have hope when there doesn't seem to be any and searching for that spark and it's, it was like the first time to kind of, uh, I got like really honest with some of my addictions. A little bit of sex, a little bit of drugs. And then, yeah, I kind of came clean with that in this song. Sex appeal is about your liberation, that the way you look, the way you are, the way you feel is right. So just go get your fitness on, use that sex appeal, you know, work that booty as hard as you can. I kind of want them to think that they perhaps missed an album back in 1983 and they're looking for, for the guy like, who is this Winter Jones? Was he released before? That's kind of the idea. Yeah. 